Good morning principal madam teachers and all my dear friends I Shivani Panda of class 10A is going to give a speech on World Environment Day I am thankful to you all for giving me this opportunity World Environment Day is celebrated annually on 5th of June for encouraging awareness and action for the protection of the environment First held in 1974 it has been a platform for raising awareness on environmental issues such as marine pollution human overpopulation global warming sustainable consumption and wildlife crime World Environment Day is a global platform for public outreach with a participation over from 143 countries annually Each year the program has provided a theme and forum for businesses non-governmental op- organizations communities government and celebrities to advocate ca- environmental issues The main idea is to let human realize what impact on the environment is being made by their activities It seeks to make people more aware and protective of the environment We all are linked with the environment we breathe only because the other env- env- elements in the environment are been supporting our metabolic processes any damage to the environment will be reflected in our health let's not forget that with this i would like to end my speech on world environment day hoping that you were able to understand my views and will adopt a zero tolerance attitude toward environmental issues and damages thank you Good morning teachers and friends. My name is Anurag Rajesh Pesar from class 10A. Today I am here to say a slogan on environment. Don't try to protect the environment. Create a planet where environment doesn't need any protection. Thank you and happy environment. Never let our rich mother nature lose its wealth in the future. The condition of our environment in present times is worse than it could ever be. We as the future of this world need to be more aware and careful with our actions. Anyone with a conscience will or maybe already is doing their best to restore the environment. On this International Environment Day, I request everyone to act for the betterment of the world. Happy International Environment Day. Thank you. The environment is the place where all of us human beings live. It provides us with many things that we should be grateful to it for. On this environment day, let us take a step forward for the environment for a better future tomorrow. Thank you. Good morning, principal ma'am, teachers and all my dear friends. I am Sri Krishna Maurya of class 10A present here to recite a poem on the topic conservation of nature. The title of the poem is The Ruler of the World. Something there is that I love a lot makes me cool even though it's hot life is too small to see the beauties of nature are larger than sea one do not see her here one do not listen her here but she is something present everywhere she is the ruler of the world in which we live yet never asked us something to give she just keeps giving we just keep taking enjoying the beauty of her we spend our lives in the lap of our mother but we cannot give her shelter as the area of trees is decreasing we cannot at least give her water as the polluted water is increasing she is not able to breathe not able to see the land turning into a heap earth is looking more like a moon if continues we will die soon one cannot repay the loan given by her she also does not want anything just show some gratitude towards her by not doing things that hurt her
Prachi Mulkani and I am here to present Earth Anthem to celebrate World Environment Day. Our cosmic, oh, as is cosmic viewer, the most beautiful planet in the universe. Our cosmic, oh, as is cosmic viewer, all the continent and the oceans of the world. United we stand as flora and fauna. United we stand as species of one earth. Like white, brown, different colors. We are humans. The earth is our home. We are humans. The earth is our home. We are humans. The earth is our home. Our cosmic, oh, this is cosmic viewpoint. The most beautiful planet in the universe. All the people and the nations of the world. All the people and the nations of the world. All for one and one for all. United we unfurl the blue marble flag. Our cosmic, oh, I says cosmic viewpoint. The most beautiful planet in the universe. Our cosmic, oh, as is cosmic viewpoint. The most beautiful planet in the universe. Thank you. An ecosystem, also known as an environment, is a natural unit consisting of all plants, animals and microorganisms that is biotic factors in an area functioning together with all of the non-living physical that is abiotic factors of the environment, for example, forest, ocean, air, etc. With the growing population, even the problems are increasing and of late they have taken a demonic size which is commanding expert attention to be solved. There are problems like air pollution, drinking water pollution, global warming, hazardous waste, ozone depletion and many others which makes the list endless. As globalization paves its way across the world, these problems no longer remain local problems but become international issues and there are numerous causes of these problems, some of which are created by man and can also be controlled by man. So here we would discuss some of these environmental problems, their causes and effects. Hey all! I am a healthy tree and I prepare food with the help of water and minerals from soil, carbon dioxide from atmosphere in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll, providing food, shelter and fresh air to the earthlings. Insatiate humans overused most of the minerals from the soil by their inhuman deeds, resulting in lack of minerals for making food and polluting the soil as well. I am unable to take the water from soil as the water table is on the brink of extinguishing. 
The water is also very polluted due to the chemical waste from factories. How can I prepare food without water and minerals? I am choking due to a lack of clean air and there's no savior to help. I am unable to prepare food for myself due to the lack of resources. So how am I expected to prepare food for the people? Innocuous people will suffer due to some barbarians. Help to save the environment until it flourishes and the mother earth will bless all by her abundant givings. Don't be cruel on trees, otherwise the mother nature will get angry on us. So please, save trees, plant trees. Make use of garbage disposals. You see those big dumpsters dotting street corners and those trash cans lined up against sidewalks? They're not there to put up a show, but for you to notice them and drop in your waste. It's sad when someone litters a place that is clean without the thought of, let me hold on to this until I spot a trash can. We need to consciously tell ourselves that what little we do does count. So the next time you get that urge to toss that gum or chocolate wrapper out the car window or accidentally drop it as you walk down the street, ask yourself how much waste you've been contributing to the environment with that bad habit of yours going on. Recycling Recycling is a method of transforming back items that can be reused once they're disposed of by the public. This means that whatever is thrown out, like paper, tins, cardboard and so on, can be put through the process of reproducing them to make new products. Not all plastic is recyclable and must be avoided as much as possible. The environment cannot degrade plastic, so these are left to scatter and collect in places. Don't waste anything and try to come up with ways on things you can use again, like say, old magazines, newspapers and art paper and can be used for projects. Try turning something you don't need anymore into a work of art and use it for another purpose instead. Be creative when it comes to those things that you don't want that is in good condition or sell them off or better yet, give it away to charity. With these environmental ethics in mind, we should be able to do what we can for it to have a better impact on the planet at large. Don't think that by being environmental conscious, you are being a sissy in some way if you were to point it out to someone who is hard-headed when it comes to how to save the environment. As long as you do your part and try to pass on that knowledge, the world is a small step closer to being saved.